Hey everyone. So we're going to do these frames that I found in my garage that you've just seen how I've prepped them and then they have a coat of grey primer on the front and the back and uh, the colours that I've chosen um, you saw a snapshot but it didn't really share everything with you so we're going to go with <laughs> these ones first okay so it's the radical pearl green radical pearl violet radical pearl yellow and the radical pearl red so they've all been mixed with the atelier and flow troll one-to-one -one ratio mixture with some water added to make it nice and fluid um, so let's get to it there's not going to be any silicon in this one I have the straws underneath uh, to keep it off the table because I didn't want to put any push pins in here All right, so uh, this one we're going for uh, lines and lines and Yeah, no silicon so no cells just lines This is the red which still I say every time I'm sure looks pink to me uh, yellow. These are the containers that are so hard to get the lids off, which, but then again, it's great because it is a really tight seal. But there we go. The beautiful violet. Okay, so I've never actually done this before. Uh, this is new for me. I have seen others uh, do the things like the light switch covers um, and the, the I think they're plates, light switch plates. Um, and other people have done photo frames but it wasn't until I spotted these in the garage and went oh they you know could most certainly do with a revamp and create something with them so now you can see all the colors are in going to give it a scoop and lift scoop and lift in the opposite direction and that's it So let's do it. Really think I should have something underneath. Da da da. It's gonna be such a mess. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna make a mess today. How does it get any better than that? Okay, let's go. So lines today. Um so if I go like that. My lines are getting a bit wavy. Hang on. <laughs> My lines are definitely going to get wavy because I thought I had plenty to do here, but clearly not. Hmm. Wow, this, this gives you a whole different uh, thought process because if I tilt one way, it's going to fall off the inside. If I tilt the other way, it's going to fall off the outside. So it's a whole different way of thinking, which is interesting. And what you want, you don't want to always be thinking the same thing over and over. Ah, oh, yes, that works. Scoop. Scrape down the side as it runs over. It will create the lines. Even though they were created 
after the fact. Very cool. This bit here. All right, I think, no, there's a little bit on this side in here that we have to get it to run, run down. Here we go. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, I like, oh, I like it a lot. Make sure the sides are covered. The sides are the ends, or maybe I should say, are definitely covered. That's covered. So is that end? Perfect. The inside edge, just make sure that the paint flows over that. Perfect. Sweet as. How cool. All right, then I'll try and sit it on the straws and torch some bubbles out. So, just trying to wipe off my hands because they're a bit painty. Mm. Still getting used to this torch and I'm actually finding perhaps it's not the best one for it. it I feel like it um, oh dear what's the word uh, it's just not right <laughs> like my little green one that I started with initially that I picked up at the tobacconist it had such a smooth flow with um, the heat distribution. I don't think this one does, but perhaps that's just because I'm still getting used to it. Okay. I think... Not what I was thinking initially, but there we go. I just don't want to have pink and purple metallic all over the back of, say, like this one, which is going to be all about the blues. So we have Creative Place, Ultramarine Deep, Radical Pearl Blue, Creative Place Cobalt Blue, and the Montmartre Silver. So two metallics, two planes in there. There will be a little bit of leftovers on the straws, but that's okay. So this one, I'm thinking we're going to add silicon. So because my tie-dye bottle needs a good clean out, the silicon that is inside has gone very, very thick and dense. So today I've just used my silicon spray and squirt it inside this cup. So I will add drips accordingly. Right. Okay, we're going blue, blue with silver. <laughs> okay, this one looks good. Cobalt blue we'll start with. We're going four cells today. That one in the bottom, all of it will give me an opportunity to clean out the tub and make a fresh, fresh mixture. I will put, oh, I think there was three accidental drops in there. Give that a bit of a swish. Awesome. Uh, we'll now we'll go with one of the we'll go with the silver one of the metallics pop that in very 
very pretty. Anyways, it's been quite a while since I've actually had a great conversation with you. So, how you been? Let me know. So nice to talk to you again. And I'm going to give that a stir with a different stick. Because I'm just trying to stir it around the top of the silver. Next is the ultramarine deep, so go with the darker colour. These blend all nicely. I'm not going to add any silicon into that one in particular. But I will add some silicon to the pearl blue from Radical. will be on top of that. Mm -hmm. Couple of drops. Let's just literally try for two. One, two, yes. Okay, swish. Okay, that looks good. Now with this one, we're going to give it a big stir all the way around and lift it up through the middle. Wow, that looks divine. Very pretty. And so, we're just gonna go straight around the edges. Cross and just keep overlapping. Because you know, as you pour it out of the cup, the colour variations change. Looking good. Meh. Alright, it's time to tilt. This looks awesome. Awesome as is. I love the blues and the silver. So... Like I would a canvas, pretty much go corner to corner, watching that every area gets covered over the edge. Perfect. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Torch it. <laughs> Bubble. Okay. Apart from those two little extra things trying to get a bubble, how amazing is that? Well, sorry. I know you're a bit far away. Let's see what we can do. How is that? Sweet as. All right. Now I've got one more. And there we go. So I'll just set that one aside. Because I'm trying to do all three and put them all in the one video that's not too long for you. That is divine. Happy as happy can be. Oh my gosh. I am going to put that section. I don't want to get any silicon onto that. To the side because I'm going to play in that later. There's the underneath. How cool does that look? So the straws, bring them back down here. That is really pretty too. And this one, 
we're going for black and white with red so to just creative place mars black creative place titanium white and the creative place scarlet lake so let's I think I might do the black and the white um, together in a cup. I'm going to go straight in the middle again. And I'm going to, going to use silicon. Yep. Sorry, I was just quickly pondering that in my mind because you never know. Because so far we've got lines, we've got cells. So there's one without silicon, one with. Now we're going for the background with silicon with the feature color highlights. So how's that sound? I hope that sounds good to you. Two in the black. Give it a swish. And in the white. Not actually going to add any more silicon because there was drops in the black and the white's falling through the black. So it's actually going to be a little bit of a zigzag in there without mixing the paints too much because you don't really want a lot of grey there may be some grey but that's not the overall plan let's see oh that bottom edge it's just so black there we go Right, give it a tilt, then two, three, oh this is beautiful. Just beautiful. Trying to get this bottom corner to flow over. Before I lose so much so I'm going to stop and I'm going to use my finger to coax it over that final corner and then back this way to come to the inside okay also being a little bit stubborn Wow. I love. Okay, we've got complete coverage. That is excellent. I'm going to still try and scoop up some of this and have it just drip over that edge. Come on, my friend. Down and back. If I do it like that, it might look like a line that was created. Give it a torch and see what comes from this one. Lots of air bubbles being cleared. Some cells and reactions going on there. That's pretty. Looky there. Are those lines beautiful? 
The cells are cute. But the lines are really amazing. Okay, feature colour. Whoa, no pressure, no pressure. What will be, will be. It's been so long since I spoke to you. Now I want to sing. Hmm. I'm thinking just a fine line. So if I follow, okay, for example, this line here comes in and then up. If I follow that with a drizzle of red um, on the darkest side, so the darkest side is if I follow the inside of this one, perhaps one over here, and see how that looks. Just a drizzle. Just mm -hmm. That's a very thick drizzle. I am glued to this concentrating, trying so hard to, <sighs> to not blow it. <laughs> um, okay, this one. How is that if I drag the stick? I like it. Very cool. Now I need there's a dark bit up here which because I'd like to stick stick with having the red in the darker section. Nice. Mm. You know what, and as simple as that is, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I feel like if I put any more red on that, I'm really just taking away from it rather than enhancing it with a um, feature colour. So I'm happy to leave that there. I will give it a slight, oops, slip, just a little bit of tilting. just to see if we can level out some of that red. And this one is coming, I just want to encourage it off the corner, off the edge. Wobble, wobble, sorry for your eyes there. Alrighty. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy, happy, happy days, happy days. All right, I'm going to tidy this up so that you're not seeing all the chaos behind the prints. And then I'm going to give you a close-up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've moved them to a cleaner location. <laughs> um, although what I didn't do is put something under them. So I'm still going to have to fiddle with them a little bit to lift them off the off the plastic. Here's how they look. Let's start with one. The metallic and the lines. Looks amazing. That sparkle and shimmer. Looks awesome. And the lines, if I stop and focus, sorry about that those stunning very very happy that's a good shot nice all right so number two the blues with the cells that look amazing okay really happy oh my gosh so stoked the line the cells are so defined the lines are beautiful i feel like i keep saying that 
but I really do feel like this pouring medium mixture is the one for me right now. Um, I do have another one that I'll be trying really soon, which I'm very excited about. Uh, here's the black and white with the feature colour. It's just started raining. Can you hear that? Wow. Okay. That looks divine. Just that pinch of red in the darkest of the pore. That's very pretty. Right there. Oh, I'm starting to shake. There we go. That's cool. Gorgeous lines again. Very excited about how all three of these turned out. So, there we go. That's awesome. I'll just put them aside and I'll come back to you and show you the dried result. Okay, see you soon. So here they are dry and they are gorgeous. There, get that in focus. There we go. So everything, once again, beautiful lines. They all stayed as they were. The cells, the same. Sorry for the movement. Look at that. They're so cool. Really happy with that. Now I just need to put the frames back together. This is the metallic, the pearl paints. All the lines, just beautiful and a gorgeous shimmer. Mm, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe there. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? And the blue one, which is where we aimed for cells. So... The blues and silver, just divine. Like that's going to look stunning when it's all finished. But at least that shows you how they dried. And yeah, for something that's been sitting in the garage for a long time, untouched, to spot them and just go automatically, oh, I need to pour on them. <laughs> so there you have it. Really impressed, really happy. I'm really pleased that I stuck with just this few uh, red features. I think that gives it even more oomph that I didn't get carried away and add too much. So, yeah, and there we go. All right, thanks so much for being with me. And remember, be fabulous. Bye.